For almost half a century, it's remained a mystery. What happened to flight ZK AFB? Where did the dragonfly go down? It was a charter flight with five people on board, and it disappeared in the Southern Alps on February 12, 1962. No trace has ever been found, despite New Zealand's biggest aerial search. Over the decades, many others have searched in vain. Next month, a private pilot resumes his hunt for it on the West Coast. And next week, another search begins inland from Lake Oha on the eastern side of the main divide. Now, this search is a little different. It's a family affair. Mum, Dad and their two adult sons preparing to grid search hundreds of hectares of untamed bush. Jendi Harper has their story. Probably in here nobody has ever been in this country at all. I think it can be done, but it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be real hard. Look out. We come down here and I'm even too scared myself to look down. That is straight down. To find an aircraft like this and this sort of stuff, you've got to go into it to look. From the air, the sheer scale of what they're up against. Somewhere down there, the Reeve family of four think they will find the wreckage of this aircraft. When we got in there, I remember going up the, up the river and I think, what are we trying to do? This is ridiculous. The country's so big, it's, it's huge. Well, we're looking for something in the bush that's big and stands out. No, we're not. We're looking for a little fragment, a piece of man-made stuff. And once we find that stuff, we're on it. Flight ZK AFB was a private charter flying four passengers to Milford Sound. Two men and a honeymoon couple married a month. The pilot was Brian Chadwick. And the weather on the day looks something like this. This is what the weather would have been like when Chadwick flew up here, southerly wind blowing. The Reeve family began looking last year, filming as they go. They've found and flown in the only dragonfly in the world still in use. And they've filmed this interview with a crucial witness. I stood and listened to it, I was rather, you know, rather amazed that an aeroplane would suddenly appear in that sort of weather in that sort of a place on such a day. Evan Blanche was with a deer culling party when the plane flew over. And when the engines did fade away, they faded away quite abruptly. The, the sound just stopped, which, because I went through my mind at the time, he, he was in trouble and the, the troubles ended up with him hitting the mountains. He is our main, main witness. If it wasn't for Evan Blanche, I wouldn't do it. So has no one looked in this area? No, before? never been searched. So Bobby, sons Adam and Simon, and wife Lindley with the cat, are off on an adventure. And they are doing it in style, in keeping with the period when the plane went down. You won't need any freeze up there this time of the year. They have built from scratch this Land Rover and restored an old plywood caravan. I don't like anything modern, nothing at all. Not even modern cars, nothing. You got a mobile phone? Oh, yes, but I mean... That... You've got an iPod? <laughs> no. <laughs> I hardly know what they are. <laughs> I'm not really interested. <laughs> but no, um, we like the old way of doing things, the way when things were done properly, and we have a lot of respect for that. We're adventurous. We've got adventurous hearts, a whole lot of us. We're all adventurous. We love, we love adventure. We love to be away on our own. We've had a lot of people say, you know, it's amazing how you can do it like that with a whole family, but we're, we're doing it. Not surprisingly, this search has captured the imagination of many. Some have even asked if they can tag along. But the Reeves have decided this is a family-only adventure. So if I just keep a low profile... OK, Jendi, not this time. Uh, it's worth a try, Bobby. <laughs> So we will just have to wait and see what they return with as to do the families of those who perished on February 12, 1962. Bobby has met with some of their relatives. When the aircraft went missing, the mother of the family bought another plot beside the mother and father's grave, and that plot is still vacant. 
And she always had the belief that one day he'll be brought back to be put into that grave. A lot of other people have said, leave it where it is. It's been a grave for so long, leave it. But sooner or later, somebody's going to stumble over it and then you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. There's every chance they may stumble over something since the dragonfly went down, a further five aircraft have vanished in these parts in what has become our very own bush, Bermuda Triangle. Mystery. It's a mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery. And we like mysteries. You know? <laughs>